Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. For this video, I'm going to open up another dollar bead box and bag. And in case you're new to this, the dollar bead box and bag are monthly bead subscriptions that you can subscribe to online. And they also offer sometimes some other, like, deals and stuff. And they also have an online store, which I have gone and bought from the online store. And it is awesome because you can buy everything for a dollar. But in order to do that, you have to be a member. So I recommend that you go to their website. I will leave a link for the website down there in the description bar below this video. So you can go check them out and um, read all the information about their monthly subscriptions. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I made a playlist for you guys because every time I get a box I make a tutorial or two depending on what I can come up with and if I have enough time to do it. And um, I have the dollar bead box playlist and in the playlist I have where I've opened up the boxes and I also have the videos there that I've made, the tutorials, with the stuff that I get in the box. So for this video let's open up the box and see what's inside. Here's the dollar bead bag. I'm going to set this to the side and put that to the side actually. Ooh. Oh wow. Is this green or turquoise? Those are pretty. Oh, these are cool. Okay, so I'm going to start with the three millimeters just like I always do. These are four, these are three. Um, transparent pink, so that's probably these here. And they have been sending, um, like last month, they sent me this same color but in a four millimeter, a bigger size. And I really like that they do that. So that's the, the transparent pink. And then there's matte pearlized ruby red, which is this one here. This is very pretty. And then opaque olive green nebulous luster. Okay, so it is green. It's kind of like a turquoisey green. The nebulous check fire polish beads are so gorgeous. Every time I get one, I love them. This is Matte Crystal AB. This is really pretty. It has AB on it, but it also has silver on it, so that's really neat. It has AB, silver, and it's matte. There's a lot going on in this strand. Pretty cool. Okay, and this one, Blue Zircon AB. And I want to say I got this one last month in the 3 millimeter very pretty and I can't remember if I used it or not. I want to say I did. Very pretty. And opaque white half silver. So that's this one here. And I want to say last month I got, no it wasn't white. It was like a beige color with a copper over it. Very pretty. Really cool. And this one is Crystal Murillo. These are stunning. I have um, this in Magatamas, I think. It's pretty cool looking. Also in the flower beads I got, I bought from uh, the dollar bead box. And then here is the opaque olive green nebulous luster. And this one here comes in the two sizes. So these are gorgeous. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is May 2018 dollar bead bag. Okay, now I'm going to go over to the box. So by the way, I am filming another video today. I'm going to try to film it, hopefully I can. It's going to be a bracelet video, and it's going to be using all seed beads. Oh 
Oh my gosh. Look at those. So I got a strain like this from them before. It was a turquoise travertine. And now they're sending out red. I love these. I used these to make a lariat necklace. Do you guys remember? That was a really fun video. These are gorgeous. I love those. Okay. So let's see. Number one on the list, they always do strands first, so I'm going to pick the strands out. Okay, a uh, 3 by 5 millimeter Chet Glass Gem Cut Rondelle, Violet Opal. So that is probably these right here. These are beautiful. I always buy colors like this when I see them. very pretty. I love using these rondelles. So, um, this one here is also the same thing. 3 by 5 millimeter Chet Glass Gem Cut Rondelle, and this is a uh, transparent jonquil. It's a pretty pale yellow color I love. And then, um, Chet Glass Tabular Square Opaque Red Travertine. So that's this one here that I was loving so much. Very pretty. And then, Chet Glass Druck, Pan Transparent Paradise. This is awesome. I don't have this color and this size in my collection, so I welcome it. Very pretty. And Paradise is my birthstone. I was born in August. And, um, allergies are driving me crazy today. Um, this is Chet Glass Lucerna Bicone Fern Green. Very pretty. It's like an emerald green. I've used these bicones a lot. They have a really unique shape and they work really cool in a lot of designs. Oh my gosh, look at this. That is awesome. I'm really excited about that. Okay, I have to look back at the list. Okay, Crystal Tech uh, Stretch Cord. So that's this here and I got this in a previous box. And stretch cord is always nice to have. And I like the thicker stretch cords because they seem to last longer when you make bracelets out of them. And the next thing is Beetalon Groovy Tubes. Ooh, what's that? Size 2 crimp tubes. Oh, crimps. I'm going to say Groovy Tubes. What are those? Wow, so, um... My aunt sent me crimps that were very, very old, and I ended up discovering that they were the first crimps to come out when a tiger tail came out. And um, they have grooves on them just like this, but they are so thick. They're really heavy duty thick crimps. They're so neat. But um, she had bought some a long time ago and she didn't use them and she sent them to me. And I'm, I, I just can't believe how much crimps have changed over the years. It's incredible. So um, these have the grooves on them, just like the ones that she sent me. But um, the ones she sent me were really thick metal. They weren't uh, thin like today's crimps. Okay, so the next thing is 32 millimeter pewter with copper square resin blank. So that's here, this here. And I'm really happy about this because I do resin. And um, I would like to use this in resin. And actually, I'm just now starting to get into polymer clay. I bought some polymer clay. I haven't done anything with it yet because, um, you know, I need a big window of time to play with it because it's clay and I have to bake it and stuff afterwards. But, uh, yeah, I wonder if I could use this with the clay. I'm going to try and see how that works out. Okay, so after that, I'm looking for... Brass 30 or not, ugh, three millimeter brass rounds antique copper plated. Ooh, so those are these. I've used these, they said these before. I love these so much. I think the ones I got before though were um, antique brass, and these are copper. These are awesome. They're three millimeter. It's a great buy. And the next thing is spring ring. 
0 0.7 by 8 millimeter spring ring bright copper plated wow these are very big and these are great for bales because they're so big and I don't have that size so that's great to get that um, next thing is 15 millimeter pewter Hansa bead oh these these are cool. I had a big gold charm from a previous box, not this subscription, but another one that I used in a bracelet, and it was really neat looking. And you guys told me a lot of neat information about this symbol. But these are um, bead frames. See, there's a hole that goes through there, so a bead can go inside there. And the next thing is coin pearl. They are 8 through 12 millimeter. Ooh, these here. I don't have any coin pearls. Most of my pearls are round, and I have a lot of glass pearls and some fresh water. Very pretty. And the next thing is 16 millimeter resin flower button. Oh my gosh. Wow, I've never seen flowers like this before. Wow, they are. They are buttons. I love roses. I collect a lot of stuff with pink roses. And actually, I just went shopping the day and I found a whole bunch of tops that all had roses on them. <laughs> and I, I did buy two of them. This is so cool. This is a button, so I can use these as closures on a bracelet. I've never seen these before. See that right there? That's the hole. Those are pretty darn cool. Man, I would love to see those in glass. Okay. Moving on. 20 by 24 millimeter Czech glass tabular bead. Purple velvet or uh, blue opal. So that's this here. Yes one this is really pretty and large so it would be like a, a focal bead that's a beautiful color very pretty and then oh I love those what's the next thing um, check glass tabular square six millimeter these these are cool. I got these before in a previous box. They were turquoise. Like a Persian turquoise. And these look like they're um, checkmates and they have two holes, but they don't. They don't, they just have one hole. See the hole right there? And this is nice to have this color. I am hunting for orangey looking beads. Um, these say that they are red, but to me they look orange. Or very, very bright red. So moving on, now I'm looking for 10 by 12 millimeter check glass triple cut turban bead. So that's these here. These are awesome. And these beads are so expensive. Have you guys gone online and look at this shape of bead? They are so expensive to get these. And I actually found this shape on clearance at Hobby Lobby and I grabbed them up. They were so cheap. I couldn't believe how cheap they were. They're really cool. Okay, and the next thing is check glass faceted barrel bead. There's three and they are multicolored. Oh wow, this is a neat shape. I have not seen this before on a check. They actually kind of look like um, crazy lace agate with their colors and their pattern. They're very pretty. You know what? I think that this could probably be a ring. Connect them like this and like a ladder weave and put seed beads in the top and bottom. And that could be a ring right there. Hope that makes sense. They would all sit side by side. And you would do a ladder weave. And have seed beads on the top and bottom. Those are cool. 
And um, this here is 5 by 7 millimeter check glass oval. Ocean green opal. These are pretty. So pretty. Very pretty. I really like these with this strand. And this. I like those colors together. And that. Very pretty. Oh, and this one too. All of these. I like those together. And maybe even the yellow. So be on the lookout for my next tutorial, my bracelet tutorial. It's going to be a project that everybody can make because I'm using common materials. I'm using seed beads and it's going to be really fun to do. And just like my previous bracelet tutorial where I did bangles and I didn't use a closure, it's going to be like that. I'm not using a clasp and, and it's going to be really fun. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and like me on Facebook. And don't forget to share pictures of the jewelry we've made from my videos on my Facebook page and follow me on Pinterest. Thanks for watching.